Hi. Cook with me while I tell you about why I haven't been posting a lot because I was in the hospital. Well, in my few videos, you can see I'm, I have a lot of problems and stuff. And I was in the hospital because I started self-harming and suicide thoughts. I have a lot of family problems and my mom doesn't really help. She mostly blames me for stuff and I don't need like I don't like it and she keeps telling me I keep taking her happiness away and stuff. So, so yeah, my therapist from school came to pick me up at 8.44 to take me to the hospital for medical mental health care and I'm sorry I'm not a professional telling stories so so yeah when we arrived to the hospital they called my name and stuff they took my blood and then I told them I do not want to go home because I know how it will be my mom will just do the same thing over and over again and I did not want that to happen. So I just I learned not to because who wants their mom to yell at them even though they're struggling mentally. So I told the hospital if I can only stay one day if I stayed a bit more. And to be honest, I actually felt so much safer at the hospital than my own house. Because my mom's not a bad mom. Well, my teachers think otherwise. But for me, she's not a bad mom. She's just stuck in her own, you know, problems. And, um, so when she came to pick me up, she was just so distant. She didn't. She didn't even ask if I was okay. She was just ignoring me. I knew I broke her. I didn't mean to, but I did. So I just decided maybe I should just give up. Cause mental health is not an easy thing to deal with. And me, who, I started self-harming since I was in fourth grade. And after I finished sixth grade, I stopped for a year and then I started again. So I was one year clean. And ever since I went to high school, I just started and couldn't stop it was mostly like an addiction and stuff i'm doing okay now but i have a lot of scars on my arms my mom doesn't know about it because she's blind but i do my best to cover up because i know she just won't understand even though how much i try to explain she just won't understand. So yeah, I was in the hospital for mental health. I stayed for a few days. I got breakfast. The nurses were very nice. But for anyone struggling with mental health out there, just telling you now, you're not alone. Because there's a lot of people who struggles. Like for me, I have a whole story I can tell, but I just don't know how because I'm not a, a YouTuber who just, a YouTuber or TikToker who just creates a whole story because I don't know how things work. I just film for fun and I film about my problems. I'm not a professional filmer, so don't blame me for this video, but just letting you guys know you're not alone. Keep going.
because I honestly didn't think I would be alive after 12 years old. I am now 14, gonna be 15 in July. And I'm trying to live. Right now I'm cooking. So, if you're not alone, you'll never be alone. And there is people who care about you guys. So don't give up just yet. Because there will always be people who cares for you. I, I want to give up so bad. But I know I have teachers who care for me. I know my mom loves me. Just she needs her own help as well. And a lot of you may be thinking, why don't you just blame your mom for your mental health? Well, I know what my mom's been through. And I don't want to make it worse. So. I'm not a person who hates their mother because they didn't understand my family issues. Or any issues. I, I'm just a broken girl. Who never got the love she wanted or craved. I'm mostly just awkward and silent. I grew up without telling my family anything. I grew up with no mom figure. I grew up with no dad figure. I grew up with my mom's ex. And she was very, well, what the therapist calls it, emotional abuse. She would fat shame me, make me starve. And when she's drunk, she becomes really touchy. And I didn't like that, so. This year, I got out of the house and started living with my mom because i never been with my mom. And I thought, finally, I could be with my mom, my mom who I craved for years. And it started up great, but it didn't, it didn't go as planned, you know? So... I mean, I believe in God, and I believe in everything happens for a reason, and I believe that things will get better, but I have one side of brain, I just ask when will it get better, because I don't want to die, it's just for me the only solution is to die. So. You guys could understand why I haven't been posting as much. And not to be rude, but I post for fun, not for followers. I don't care who follows me. I just do it for fun, for a hobby. And if you ask me why I'm cooking, it's because my mom is too lazy to cook, so. And I don't mind cooking. It's just cooking is not one of my hobbies. But at least you guys will know why I was in the hospital and why I haven't been posting. But. So. Thank you, guys. Well, for all the followers I have, I love you guys, and I will always be grateful for the ones who followed me, and for the ones who don't follow me, I don't care what your decision is, I don't care if you think I'm cringe, I don't care, I really don't, so, this was probably the longest videos I've ever done, thank you for listening to my story, or whoever did. <laughs>